Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Aurelie Plans. My name is Aurel. And in this video, I just wanted to do a really quick, easy, fun project. So I have this card. If you guys have the Be Happy box from the Happy Planner, you know what this is. This is actually part of the sort of like a guide on what you'll get from the box and I just didn't have the heart in me to throw it away so I was like what am I gonna do with this there were a couple of different options I thought that oh I'm gonna cover like this side with like scrapbook paper and maybe do um like a note section but I just didn't want it to be like a one-time use so this is what I thought of. I am going to make this my little sticky note page flag type of dashboard. Kind of like this. So this is the dashboard um, with sticky notes on it. This is from the Happy Planner as well. And I just thought to match the theme of my planner, I was just going to use this to put sticky notes on and I'm going to punch holes right here and then just stick it on my planner. So if you guys want to see how I do that, keep watching! So I have a couple of stuff in here. So I do have that card um, and I have some sticky notes. I have a bunch of sticky notes and little page flags right here as well that I've collected over the years. Um, these were also in a dashboard type of situation, but I just took it apart. And then to match the back or the theme of this card, I was lucky enough to find this paper pad from Joann's. I found it last weekend. It's called Indigo Craft and Rose Gold, and it's perfect because this is indigo and copper or... A little close to rose gold as well. Um, I got this at Joann's. It, it was on sale for $7. It was originally $15 so they have most of their um, paper pads 50% off last weekend. So I'm just gonna scroll through. Oh, I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm just gonna open it see what we can choose as a background for the sticky note dashboard. So I'm gonna flip through with this with you guys. Oh, look at that. This is so, this is gorgeous paper. I love paper pads. I have so many and I just, oh, I think this match is pretty good too. I want to be able to use them more often than I should. I used to cut them in little boxes. Oh, this one's pretty too little boxes for my spreads like every week before the happy planner came out with a lot of stickers so that worked out I, I still do them from time to time I did some last year but with those stickers you just you just can't compete with the stickers but yeah so my goal this year as far as creative goals is to use what I have and we, I think we all have that same goal <laughs> for the year because we have so much stuff, but then we don't really get to use them all because we're all so busy and, pe and we're just like so distracted by the stuff that comes out all the time and we have to buy, 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 but then we have so much stuff that we don't even use it. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think this is the one or... Do I want to do this or the polka dots or this one? I think this is this is really pretty. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, and I have two of these. Perfect. Yes. At least I can still use it for something else. So I'm going to take this paper out. And I'm just going to put this away. I'm just going to trace it to fit the card.
pretty. Perfect. So now I'm going to choose which sticky notes I am going to put in. So I think I want some of these. Then I also have a lot of these like little ones too. I made a dashboard with my own sticky notes before. I do have them stocked somewhere, but it was more of like a floral themed. I use a, a scrap of paper as well. And I also laminated it. I don't know if I'm gonna laminate this because the initial paper, like the cardboard, is already pretty thick. And then adding another card, um, scrap of paper, it made it more, it made it thicker. So, let's see what we can add that I'm actually gonna use. I just don't wanna stick stuff in here, but I'm not really gonna use it. I really like that today. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this one heart, this heart's really pretty, but I don't think I'll ever use it. <laughs> Let's see. These florals are cute as well. Mm. I want this purple one. my page flag sticky notes because I just don't want it to get too bulky when I stick it on my planner. So I do that, I split them in half. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's pretty. And it's also pretty functional. It has a lot of space to write on. I want that orange one. This to-do one's pretty good too. So I have that. Do I want this arrow? Let's we'll see, we'll think about it. I feel like that, get it done. Ooh, I definitely like this one. We'll see. I think I'll just put this somewhere else. I like this, this one that says don't forget. That one's really pretty. So I'll put that right there. I'll put the today over here. Oh, I should remember. Let's see, it's the back, yes. Oh, no. So I should flip it, because I am going to punch it over here, so I have to remember to leave myself some space. I think that's plenty of space, do you guys think? Yes. And this is a little thick, so I'll split it. I'll put that right there, and then maybe add this back right here. So I'll have a few more over here. Gosh, I have so many. I don't, I, I don't even buy them anymore. These are the ones that I accumulated over the years. Let's see. Oh, this one, this speckled one. It's really pretty and so sticky too. So I'll add that right there. I kind of want this to do, but it's a little too colorful. right there. one too. And 
love this scalloped one. This scalloped one's really pretty. And then, what else? I want this floral one. Yeah, let's add the floral one. Why not? So right here now I'm just kind of seeing what I like and then in the final I'm going to stick them to the actual paper later on when I'm done. I don't want this note to self. So these top three so it matches this one. Okay. And then maybe this little arrow one. I don't really have a lot of black though. We'll add this checklist or checkbox. So it matches. I have a paint to match this one. And then add this right here. Over here. And then maybe add all of the little ones right here. So I have this to do. Um, I don't have a lot of gold working, so do these um, exclamation points over here. And I want this to kind of match. No. I want this. This one's good. And then one more. This one's really pretty, but it doesn't match the theme. Do I want this pink one? Yeah, let's do the pink one. So we'll do it right here. And then add these two right there. And then put this right here. I'm gonna just move this a little bit to add. Okay, that's it. So I'm just gonna do like a fast forward frame for you guys. So I'm just gonna like stick everything on together. and then you flip it right there. So pretty. You kind of made a mistake of flipping it. Uh -uh. No, that's fine. I'll work with it. So I have another puncher. I have the Arc Puncher because my Happy Planner puncher is slowly dying and I wanted to buy something a little more, a little stronger and something that can probably punch through cardboard. I usually do, I usually use this to uh, punch through when I laminate something. Okay, I'm sure. Just trying to line it up. Just kind of eyeballing it. Ta-da! That's awesome. There you go. Okay, there it is, guys. Very pretty. Let me go get my planner so I can stick it in there. So I'll probably add it 
the For My Calendar section. like it. So pretty. I'm very satisfied. So you run this and you have this. We love that. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And also, if you want more content from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Bye.